How's it going troops? It's Icy Walker and I welcome you to the Windows 10 tutorial of how to install OBS the right way of doing it. Um, well, as you can kind of see, I've got a sort of a split screen sort of thing so I guess you guys can see both scenarios so you can see what it looks like on OBS and an actual web page as well. So I actually hook up OBS so you can do a YouTube live streaming or in a situation you want to do it on Ustream or if you want to do it on Twitch. And I'm going to show you how to do it on YouTube and maybe yeah, another day if you guys do not know how to do it still um, let me know in the description below and I will do one for Twitch. So um, as you can currently see I'm on my um, YouTube dashboard so you guys can see all my view count, my subscriber count currently to this date and my OBS on the right screen. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to sort it out so you can do a live stream from A to Z. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on YouTube and we're going to go to click on live streaming or you probably in your video manager, it depends on which one you're doing. On my case, it'd be live streaming. I'm just going to let it, let it load. Okay, and then click on events. Okay, so once I'm in an event screen, there's many ways to get events. I don't know if you guys will see this too, but it should be the same thing anyway. You just click schedule new event. And I'm just going to do a test event, so it's going to be private, so no one can see it. And make sure you click the type as custom. If you do a quick, um, you can have to only use a camera only, and it does cause problems for you. So you're better off using custom if you want to use OBS or any other stream software. So I recommend custom. You can make any name you want, as long as you want. But they do suggest you do it short, but I like to do it really, really long. So I'm just going to do OBS, um, the OBS test for YouTube. And we're going to set time, but the time currently is 8.49, but you can set it to any time you want and you can start it whenever you want. So it's just so it's the people who are going to see it, you know, what time you're going to start, what time you're going to end. You can set that this button as well and it's all nice and pretty. So we're just going to do, let's just say 10 o'clock. It doesn't make much difference for us at all because we're not going to stream for that long anyway. Um, we're going to have anything in the description, so I'm just going to copy this a few times so you guys get an idea. And the tags, you can have any tags you want. So you can do, I don't know, um, you can do turkey, turkey, home, or chin, I don't know. Just anything really, literally anything. As much as things you want. And it will add, as soon as you will say tags, so recommend the tags. So because I've added mine as well. And then I did just loads and loads of stuff. So these are just random stuff I've been typing in, like 20 United States. Just loads of random really stuff. And soon, we'll, because I've got type in Minecraft. One cool thing as well, eventually you'll get like tag suggestions at the bottom and the suggestions you can do too. But in this case, it's not doing it, but it's not a problem for us anyway. So, um, you, now after you've done all this, you click on advanced settings and you've got some more information you need to set. So you can you can enable live chat so they can talk back to you and all that lot of stuff, which I always recommend doing because it's cool. I really enjoy communicating with my streamers, uh, my, my viewers while I stream. Uh, you can block spam messages. So I think every minute, or every 10 seconds or to a minute, and um, they stop, you can't do loads of messages, which does help. Sometimes you don't want to get rid of it. Sometimes it's always good to have as well, but it all depends to you. Um, you start your YouTube license depending on what you do, your type of content you're, you're distributing. So in my case, it will be standard. Uh, Seam Nation will be anywhere, everywhere. And uh, my caption is always, this content never been aired on television because it has been. It's literally brand new content because I'm creating it right now in front of you. Um, a description if you need one, if you've got PG games um, or you get games that's over 18 only, you can this button. Um, this I enjoy a lot, promotion on your page. I always do it for 12 hours so that when I'm going to stream, everyone on my page will be notified that I'm going to be streaming at this time, at this time, at this time or this day and they can jump in and it helps, it helps a lot personally. Um, next bit is the video language. Choose which language you want. You can choose up to 170 languages, but I always always United Kingdom English. The game category, so people can you know which streaming channel, because you can actually go into YouTube Live and there's all the different channels and your game will be featured in one of them. So in my case, it's always gaming. Uh, and all the other stuff, I'm pretty much leave, really. Yeah, pretty much leaving. Apart from streaming optimization, I always have less view buffering because I rather have people have the game and the stream at lower quality, but not lose the connections and don't miss any content even though in my case it never ever happens but it's always good to be sure okay once everything all that's done you can click on moderation and more oh I pronounce it well uh, monetization so I always have moder uh, mon mon uh, monetized in all countries and I click the free sometimes the fourth depending on what I'm doing but rarely it's usually the free and after that it's pretty much done really you just click create event and it will create my event now it's just saving. Okay, once it's saved, you can make a custom thumbnail. You can even Photoshop or any other software you can probably think of, and make the 
thumbnail using that. So in my case, I'll just use, for example, World of Minecraft. So if I go to my World of Minecraft folder, there's my World of Minecraft one. And there's my World of Minecraft JPEG, and it will make the thumbnail for it. And there we go, World of Minecraft episode 8, which is the stream I just finished. Um, your injection level depends on what you're doing, so you can use a custom one depending on if you're using streamers. But I personally recommend you just use the basic one. I use the tall one because I stream at 1080p because I actually send 6,000 kilobytes per second because of I have I pretty much pay for anything in this house, so I can enjoy all of it. So I use 6,000, and this is the important bit. This is not recommended you show other people, but because it's just for demonstration, I don't mind showing you because it gets wiped every single time you stream anyway. So you just copy this top link. And that's about it. And what I recommend you doing is after it's saved, just click on live control room and wait here. So what you do now you do in OBS, um, you go to your settings and well I'll show you my OBS settings from A to Z. As you can see I've got AMD VC, VCE because I'm using a special version of OBS called AMD Device, which allows me to use my mantle drivers so I don't get as much performance loss when I record pretty much zero. That's why I use it. Um, the link to OB, uh, AMD VCE for OBS will be in the description as well. This is known as OBS Fork, and it's a really good stuff. I really recommend if you use AMD graphics cards. So um, I'm going to go to encoding settings. Um, I currently use AMD VCE. I got my um, CBR on, my enabled CBR padding on. I got 8,000 um, bit rate, which they don't really recommend. Shh. <laughs> they do say to 6,000, but I do want the quality to be as great as possible. I literally need to get literally because of my internet because I'm on plus net I get about 17 megabytes upload speed so I can happily give it away while I'm streaming and the quality is flawless as in it's really really good quality I would get no lag or anything like that and I just love it it's just beast I have all the optional VC settings on as well all the audio settings all the normal I quickly skip broadcast settings for a second I'll just show you the rest of it um, I've got a custom resolution because if you were to see my actual resolution my monitor it's this because of another thing about AMD. It allows me to upscale, downscale, so I can have higher resolutions on a 1080p monitor. But I use the custom of uh, 1920 by 1080p. Okay, and I have it downscale on zero and 30 FPS. Audio, I'll leave the same, so just cancel that. Um, I have my desktop audio, which I was set to be my headset, and my microphone, because I have two microphones I go for my, my camera, my Logitech C920 camera, or my that one's microphone or my actual studio microphone which I use this one and that's about it really so everything else is pretty much normal apart from process high very fast main to and everything else is pretty much exactly the same as normal so what I'm going to do now I'm going to my, my broadcast settings and I have it on live stream I have it to YouTube the same thing if you've got it on Twitch you put the Twitch settings in you have to change your stuff to it or any other one of these channels but in my case I use YouTube and you have the primary and backup I use the primary and I'll paste that key in that I've got from the YouTube page earlier and I have everything else pretty much exactly the same as normal and I click apply click ok and I click start streaming because um, I'm not adding streams I'm going to show you how to do this frequently as well so add a scene let's call it YouTube whoa that came out very well YouTube ok and then my sources, I can choose which sources I want. So I can do a window capture, I can do a camera capture, I can do anything I really want. So in my case, I would do a camera capture. Unfortunately, it will be delayed, guys, because I am currently using different software. I'm not using OBS to stream. So unless you guys will see what it looks like, but I will be talking backwards technically. So I just got my camera connected now. Click on play, click on previous stream, and you should be able to see me. Hey, guys. So um, you sh it actually might be in right time, actually. I'm not 100% sure, but if it isn't, then whoops. But yeah, as you can see, it's picked up my camera nice and clearly. Um, I've got my torch just in case I need it. But it's unlikely I need it, so I just turn it off for now. So there's the camera gun. And I can have any one of these software, um, any one of these things at all I want. So in my case, I'll just use the image for now and I'll pick up the water microphone again. So we can, so I can show you guys what it looks like. So let's go to water microphone here. Water microphone. Okay, and there we go. What am I covered for the series for episode eight? This is what you would see for example if you had a game capture or anything. It's just examples so you guys can see what it would look like. So if I now start to stream it, it would now be sent. These day the data packet, uh, packets will be now sent to YouTube to be uploaded to the stream here, and you'll see it pop up. So as you can see, I'm sending eight thousand megabytes per second, or eight sorry, eight thousand megabytes, eight megabytes per second over to YouTube. And you can see now the stream is quite is good. The health is good. Netflix lovely so I can do a preview stream now and uh, this should be to hear me as well 
but you know it's not part so no one can physically hear me anyway but if I click this you'll be able to see this screen in a second it should just start in a second you'll see so if you're preview to start please wait a moment here we go give it a second maybe if I reload this it might bypass that page yes. Uh, this should be there we go. Hear me as well. So as you can see, you can hear me as well. So I just move that. So as you can see, there's the OBS test for YouTube. So I'll stream straight to YouTube via the preview player. Um, it will do up to 1080p which as well, which is really cool. So when you're ready, just click start streaming, and you click OK, and it'll give it a second. It'll start saying you're live in this few seconds. There we go. I'm now live, so they can hear me exactly the way I'm talking to you right now. So for example, you can now do many ways. You can click on the view on watch page, or you can literally do from here. I personally do view on watch page so that I can see how other people can see it for me. But you can just click public view from here, and you can see them and all the messages here. But I personally, like I said, I would rather go here. And I love, I love to look at it this way, because this way I can see my messages. I can see all the messages here. I can type messages to people watching, and they'll see it too. I can moderate people. I can change the settings so I can see how the quality goes all the way up to 1080p and goes all the way down to 2 and 2 oh, 1 oh, 1 4 4 p so it's literally depending on what you're going to do so make sure you set it the way you want it and everything should work exactly how you want it so if this video helped you guys please smack that like button it helps me out and don't forget to subscribe we are ridiculously close to releasing my left uk if I'm currently sure yeah I'm currently at 741 subscribers like I said I'll release it at 750 so if you can help we get nine more subscribers. I'll be releasing this public, and it's on a 24-hour RP server, which is going to be awesome. I'm going to try to get people from different countries to be moderators. So if anything happens, you better check in all that lovely stuff too. But before I go, I'm going to quickly show you guys the actual footage. So if I reload it, you're going to see now what a Minecraft as you see here, and you can hear it nice and clearly too. You said the way you want it, and we don't need it. We don't hear me talk twice, do we? No, we don't. So the trips, stay awesome. See you in the next video.